This is News 13 at 6. A murder trial wrapped up in Bay County just over an hour ago. 25 year old Gregory Griggs was accused of shooting 55 year old Eric Thomas and killing him. News 13's Thomas Schultz is live in our studios tonight. And Thomas, what was the verdict? Amy LeGregory Griggs was found guilty of first degree murder. On December 7th, 2019, Griggs and his cousin Willie Whitsett allegedly broke into Thomas's home to rob him. Prosecutors say the East 7th Court home was a known drug home. Witness Juanita Jones was, Jones was at the homes. She says she was smoking crack cocaine with Thomas when Whitsett and Griggs came in with guns. Jones and Whitsett both testified yesterday. Whitsett pistol whipped Thomas, according to him. Both said Griggs then tussled with Thomas. Eventually, Whitsett says he realized there wasn't any money in the home and called out to Griggs to leave. That's when they say Thomas grabbed, grabbed Griggs' leg and Griggs shot him five times. But today, Griggs says he never entered the home. After being arrested, Griggs says he lied to police about the crime. Prosecutor Peter Overstreet thought Griggs was lying again today. If you were willing to lie then, mm -hmm. what's stopping you from lying now? What, what do I got to lie for? I don't know, you're on trial for first degree felony murder and two counts of armed robbery. Griggs testified today there was a third man involved in the shooting, but neither the defense nor the prosecution ever mentioned a third man throughout the trial. Griggs says he drove Whitsett to the home because his cousin said he'd pay him $20. He says he had no idea That's there right. would be a robbery. Prosecutors say Griggs' story just doesn't add up. Now, Thomas, uh, unusually, he, the sentencing was today. That doesn't happen all the time. How much time will Griggs actually spend in prison? Amy, he was sentenced to life in prison on the three counts, so he'll be spending the rest of his life in prison.